Desire Coastal Trail. Okay. So yesterday I got an email on my phone with a ticket that said I needed to come to Surat. And uh, today when I arrived in Surat, I had another message that said I needed to get to the parking lot where there was a car waiting for me. Now it is the new desire that I have and uh, I don't really know what I'm here for but I'm guessing it's going to be a bit of a road trip, a bit of an adventure. So I'm going to get on with it and see what's what. It's been 13 years since I came to Surat last and my god, everything has changed and for the better. The roads are fantastic, the city is relatively very clean and it has truly transformed itself from a sleepy little town to a full-fledged city. Surat has a very distinct modern side and a very, very distinct traditional side. And while most houses are being pulled down to be replaced by newer ones, there is still a lot of really quaint areas left to see. But before all of that, it is time for a quick bite. Now I am looking for a very quintessentially local meal, something very typically Surti. It's probably going to be something vegetarian because, well, after all, we are in Gujarat. Hopefully, I'm going to find something a little more interesting. I do not believe it. Now, that is a bit of a coincidence. Now, this little restaurant called A1 is the definition of a hole-in-a-wall place. In fact, it is run out of somebody's hall. But it is places like this that normally have the most epic food. I am completely spoiled for choice here because I know exactly what most of this on the menu means and what most tastes like. But I think I'm just going to go easy today and order some masala dal travel, as it's called, some sali margi, some akuri and maybe a Parsi omelette to top it all off. Now while Parsi food today is seen as one of the more extravagant and indulgent cuisines in India, mainly because of dishes like Patrani Machi, which is essentially fish wrapped in banana leaf, in reality, Parsi food is originally quite simple. So now that my plate is quite full, I'm just gonna do the obvious and start digging in. Superb chair. Heavenly, that is the only way I can describe a meal like this. Now, we are going to give this an indulgence score. In fact, every activity we do on this trip is going to get one of these scores. And considering the fact that almost nothing is left on this table, I think we're going to give it a solid 8 on 10. And that is a pretty high score to start the day off with. After all that food, it was time to hit the road. A dash of fuel first, and then we were good to go. Time to hit the open highways of Gujarat, which are some of the best in the country, and munch some of those miles. Clearly, Surat did not want to let us go. The traffic went on for kilometer after kilometer, wasting everyone's time and, of course, precious fuel. And that heavy meal didn't do me any good either. And lo and behold, by the time we approached Bharuj and the lovely new cable stay bridge built across the Narmada River, 
the sun had already set. But the roads did clear up and that gave me the chance to stretch the desire's legs a little bit. But before that, a small stop was necessary for something very, very specific. Thank you. So, uh, the sun's just set and I'm feeling a bit snacky. Now, we've just crossed into Baruch. It's uh, just off the highway, we've just got into the city for a reason. Now, you might know Baruch as the chemical capital of India. A lot of fertilizers are made there. A lot of um, chemical factories have their bases there from India. But it's also known for its peanuts, some of the best in the country. Trust me, the next time you pass through it, stop, find a store and get yourself some of these because these are amazing. Back on the highway then, the road from Bharuch to Anand was absolutely fantastic. Now while you might normally skip Anand as just another milestone on the way to a final destination, we had to make a stop for one very, very important reason. Now that has been a very long drive, being stuck in some really bad traffic and some lovely, lovely highways too. Obviously we are in Anand and that's why the lovely poster of Dr. Kurian. We are going to do our little homage to him and grab an Amul ice cream while we are here. But Anand is also where some of the best milk desserts in the country are made. And the king of all of those is, no doubt, some Shrikhan. Here Majanu, Shrikhan ka mal se. Shrikhan ka mal se here. Shrikhan? Yes. This is a good area. Ka mal se. Shrikhan Majanu ban te. Aaj jai here, here ati te dukaan to ban thai gai. Biju kai chai dukaan? Shrikhan? Shrikhan ni. Aaj santrang chai ne aga. After speaking to some of the locals about where we would find some of the best local Shrikhand in Anand, everyone pointed us to a small family-run place called Sarvodaya. Time to give it a shot then. Remember that indulgence scope? we keep talking about. If the Parsi meal was 8 on 10, this is 12 on 10. Is this the best chicken I've had in my life? Yes, it is. End of discussion, it just is. You can't come to Anand though and not have a taste of some of the hundreds of milk-based products that Amul makes. How can you not have an Amul ice cream in Anand? It is quintessentially what Anand is known for. Now it might not be, it might not be as indulgent as that Shrikhan we had earlier. We'll get an indulgent score of about six or seven on 10. But this is comfort food. And if you're in Anand, if you don't have an Amul ice cream, that's a waste. Although I could have spent hours here having nibbles and bites, I really did need to hit the road and reach Bhavnagar that night over 160 kilometers away. The roads, a mix of national and state highways, aren't exactly great, but the desire makes mild munching ever so easy, especially with the automatic gearbox. We've had quite a eventful day today. It's uh, been a mix of some great, great driving roads, which uh, we'll enjoy a little more tomorrow morning. It's uh, been a lot of traffic, a lot of waiting, a lot of absolutely phenomenal food and some lovely desserts to top it all off. Uh, today has been more about food. Tomorrow though is more about seeing some places where you would normally never stop as a tourist. Some offbeat stuff. So that's something definitely to look forward to as well.